What up guys, it's your boy Minix here with some Fortnite analytical gameplay where I secure the Vic Roy. And we're gonna go over what I do well, areas of opportunity and everything. Tips and tricks, hopefully you're able to take from it. Full disclosure, I am a potato. So this is for potatoes, it's for people who are looking to improve the gameplay, not the super skilled or comp game players. This is just for people who are still struggling to get the Vic Roy and or whatnot. Or if, if, if you got killed by me at one point in time and you think that, you know, I'm better than you. This is for you. This is for you. I really hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you're able to learn from it. Let's get to it. We're gonna get straight to it because these these games these games get super long sometimes. So we're gonna go let's let's go with gameplay. Where am I landing? Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. We're going to sweaty. I'm gonna try to speed these up in between like the dead space so that we're not doing too much pointless things. But I'm gonna try to explain some of our rotations or whatnot. So typically when I go sweaty sands, I usually like to go to the trailer park. I actually haven't watched this yet. It's been a while. Since I, okay, so I go to the trailer park. I personally enjoy going to the trailer uh, trailer park because I feel like it's not contested. So right off the bat, we get we get a good one. We get a shotgun. That's that's always that's always a blessing. How loud is this? Okay, I think this is this is pretty decent. What am I? Am I able to? to I, I think. Do I want to hide this? I'm not really sure. Um, we're we're. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hide hide it for now until there's actually no we're not I think guys we are not. this way i can actually blast through it when i and you guys can actually see the kills and i'm able to actually speed this up and turn into different camera angles when i'm able to so i dropped i got a gun as soon as possible and right after that my focus on my focus is matting up matting up getting armor if i'm able to and i usually most of the time when I land sweaty, I rotate left. I always go towards the gas station rather than rotating right because I feel like if anybody is at the gas station, then they're going to have a good advantage in the third party. So I try not to do that. Plus, there is some good armor over here, whether it's the fruits or the barrels. And there's just a lot of good loot. This, this, this was just unfortunate. That was just unfortunate. He was out there. It looks like he was getting contested by the IO guard. So really, I land over at the trailer park. I rotated, if, if you're at the trailer park, I rotate from uh, the trailer park to the gas station. And we just try to get as many mats as possible. I've said this in previous gameplay. What I like to do is try to get 800 mats. So this way that if I have to fill battle somebody or if somebody gets like a llama or something like that, I'm prepared. So I try to get as much as possible. I also try to get as much loot as possible. Even if there's like some battles going on and you might find an urge to third party make sure that you have what you need before you actually go and, and attack and this replay is stuff it's just because i'm destroying some walls and i'm destroying some things here and, and you can still see it but all right let's speed it up here i'm gonna i'm gonna just go back and forth between speeds here just so though that we're not taking up too much time so i have somebody coming up from behind and the first thing that i ended up doing right off the bat even though they missed first thing i end up doing right when i see the shot turn around and i build walls immediately to protect myself just in case there's going to be a flurry of shots i'm pushing him from above and this is just unfortunate for him because he ended up just hard peeking taking some damage but so did i try to get him above for an easy headshot open that up on him Ended a couple times on that so let's just break that down a little bit here so if somebody's behind me, I wasn't sure that there was somebody behind me, especially because I'm rotating from the trailer park and the skate park and gas station. So for somebody to be behind me, it caught me by surprise that there is a little house over here that sometimes some people land at, but I'm not sure exactly. He could have landed over here somewhere, but anyway, shot from behind. First thing I do, turn around, wall up just in case he's going to shoot some more immediately take high ground if i'm able to put me in a better spot i notice he's peeking a little bit so i want to try to if i'm able to just get some 
really good damage on him so i go straight towards my sniper i pop it out on him he's hard scoping if i was able to get a headshot that would have been perfect that would have eliminated him right off the bat i wouldn't really have to even go into battle and put myself in a little bit more of a compromising situation so you can see i take some damage in return now i'm building up get a little bit higher even if he were to knock me down because of this fence right here i'd be able to catch myself so it's totally fine that i'm going up a little bit higher here breaks me down and now as soon as i break down since he's right there what i want to do is secure the floors immediately boom and i end up doing that i just end up dropping these floors right here i try to take all of them uh in case he decides to break underneath here now him in this situation he is able to go back and is he's able from his percep uh, perspective go right he can box up 90 up but he doesn't do that and as soon as i take this floor sometimes what some people might be tempted to do is they might hop over on this side hop behind him or something like that but it's not necessary you can open up the floor right up on him and take a shot now in this particular situation i might have been opening myself up a little bit too much because when i open up the floor i open myself up completely and if he anticipated that he would have been able to get a pretty good shot but this gives me an opportunity to shoot at him immediately after i get off my shot i'm resetting the floor so that the floor is able to take the brunt of the damage if he shoots back and in this case we just keep up with the aggression open up again try to take some more shots on him at this point i'm assuming maybe he's going to expect me to open up the floor again so i end up end up just kind of repositioning myself just to make myself a little bit unpredictable drop it down just secure that kill so we're gonna go at four times only because of the fact that there's a couple kills here uh afterwards but it's not after some time so really we're just going back to just making sure you mat up and making sure you have the best equipment that you possibly can especially if you're familiar with the area just try to try to avoid you know going straight into battle or looking for that immediately especially if there is still some area of opportunity with your loot or if you operate with better guns and you don't have those guns especially if the area that you're in is secure so in this particular situation i drop at a hot drop to me and somebody did just take a shot but i i drop at a hot drop which is the first drop coming off the bus and the reason why i like doing that is because i like getting into the thicket of things i feel like if i drop at a no name place or a further place i feel like what ends up happening is it makes me a little bit too comfortable and I'm, my fingers are just not warmed up so personally i like to get over my anxiety and i am the hot drops i try to go right into it if you've ever played with me then you know a lot of times what ends up happening is i go hot drop hot drop hot drop hot drop because i feel like that helps me get more comfortable with engagement if you're newer i would definitely recommend that you spend some time in team rumble because just getting used to those engagements i also saw a really good video of cypher pk coaching loser fruit and one thing that i thought was very valuable and very key in approaching a lot of these games is assuming that everybody is bots so if you just try to keep in mind that there are actually no real players it might help dampen the anxiety and or panic and just look at everybody as if they were bots and if it's just different difficulties of it so somebody took a snipe at me however i wasn't actually able i think i might have ended up seeing him but i don't think he ever came out of the store let me see what ends up happening so somebody takes a snipe at me from behind and i'm just building across because i thought he was behind the tree and the reason why i build up and across like that is because number one i have the materials to expend and if i don't need to open up myself to be on the same plane and by plane as in the same level as him as floor level and giving him the opportunity to be able to right peek behind the tree then i'm gonna protect myself a little bit and building up in metal was a very valuable thing now top right uh, bottom right we see that he's over here but at this time i didn't know that and i thought he was behind the tree so I took extra precautions to protect myself, especially when you're not too sure of where they are. You definitely want to mitigate the amount of damage. I saw that he was behind the tree after I knocked it down. I ended up checking the bush just to see if he was in there. But as you can see, this person is rotating to the right over here. So sometimes it can be easy to get lax. And sometimes these players who's going to take those sneaky shots might be rotating and looking for you to kind of just drop your guard and or stay still especially if they have a sniper 
because it makes for a really easy kill and they'll kind of just poke and prod at you until you drop your guard completely and make it easy for them to kill you so a lot of times as you see as i'm playing you can just see me jumping around putting out ramps in front of me i'm aggressing another tree because i thought this guy was just being cheeky but as we can see top right over here he's by the river however i'm taking what i thought to be the necessary precautions in this situation because i wasn't sure where he was after expending those mats i also tried to make sure that i replaced it so i'm farming as well and I'm kind of getting the idea that this guy might have rotated, but I'm still trying to keep on my toes for the very simple fact that I don't know he still might be lurking around. So as I'm jumping, I'm also aiming to the right, aiming to the left, seeing if this guy is going to peek out and try to take another shot. But bottom right, in, in reality, you can actually see that he's not there. He's not going to end up taking a sh another, another shot, but it doesn't hurt to be cautious in a situation like this especially because you have no idea see it, it, this is another situation where i thought he might be in a bush so i take a couple shots because people get cheeky people get cheeky i mean i've done it it's not a bad play especially if you see a very skilled player and just doing these unpredictable things might actually work out to the person's advantage especially if the person drops their guard significantly enough or again if you have a sniper and you're pretty good with your shot boom you get a uh, headshot and you're able to eliminate competition to be easier so at this point i heard some snipes off off in the distance and because somebody came at me with a sniper i'm making the assumption that maybe that that's that person and he rotated far out and maybe he's contesting somebody else however the storm is going to bring me back over here so i don't wander too far and i'm really just focused focusing on just replenishing my mats still a little bit weary of where this guy is but making sure that i'm looking around but because we're going to be contesting storm here uh this is something i should have paid a little bit more attention to a lot of times when the storm is coming in you're going to see a lot of players coming from hotter areas or or equally as hot areas and they're going to be coming into the storm really in this situation i should have already been in the storm if i'm not prepared or willing to go against contesting players who are also trying to get in the storm and we can see this over here there's going to be two people here that are also going straight into the storm. I don't remember if I could test them. I do see that I take two kills coming out of this. But when the storm comes in, you want to reposition yourself so that you're not in the line of travel with other players who are also going to be coming directly into the storm. So in this case, there could be people from Salty, people from Weeping, people from Holly. So these are some things you have to consider when the storm actually closes in. Like who's going to be coming from where and where they're going to be coming from so in this particular case somebody does aggress me they end up pushing me and i just try to as quickly as possible make it where i'm able to secure high ground and as i'm ramping towards him i personally like to do a little bit of a double ramp uh, i ended up scuffing myself i end up like i end up doing the double ramp just because i don't sometimes i'm not exactly sure if they're going to sidestep or something like that but really what i'm just trying to do is just trying to secure the high ground and it looks like he might have accidentally messed up his build or something on the line of and, and and that's actually an important thing to consider so a lot of times if you make a mistake while you're building like all is not lost and don't assume automatically like you just see you just saw that i put a wall in front of myself you don't want to give up just because you made a mistake because there's still a very high chance that they're also making mistakes as well. So in this particular situation, I'm able to get the high ground, but I also have to be super aware. I can't stay up here too long and as exposed. If you notice, I don't have any walls up. And if there is somebody else that is aiming in, they're going to have a very good opportunity to take a couple shots and or try to third party. And if they're able to, to successfully hit those couple of shots, it's going to give them a better chance because when you see a build battle go up anywhere, you become a bigger target because people are able to see this further away, especially in a place like this where there's not a lot of natural foliage or buildings. People are able to see this from a decent distance. And if a person is aggressing or pushing every person, this is a perfect opportunity for a push a person to push because it's possible that one or more parties are weak. So you just have to be careful when it comes to exposing yourself and what's around you. Realistically, the right thing would have been to 
quickly eliminated this guy or if I'm going to build up, maybe even build around me. But I'm trying to conserve material and I'm really just tunnel vision on this guy, which might be a fault of mine. However, it is a pub lobby, so I'm not too worried about it, but still something you should consider. So because I'm high ground, he ends up going up and because he ends up going up, you can see that I preemptively put a floor and because of this, I'm able to open up the floor and I have high ground and I'm able to take a shot. Even if you don't, even if you don't hit that shot, which in this case you saw that I, I missed, you should still attempt to take these shots as often as you can because it's going to be a higher chance of inflicting damage and uh, with RNG, there's no saying exactly how much that's going to do, but it, you want it to sway in your favor. So you want to inflict as much damage as possible. Um, and with him ramping up like that and me having the floor, that was actually a really good opportunity. So I have high ground again, at which point some uh, did somebody else take a shot at him? I think somebody did take a shot at him. And this is my point going back a little bit because I didn't take a shot there. We're building up, which allows somebody else the opportunity because this is a very visual thing. You can see a build battle from far away, especially if you have a view distance on max. And it invites other players. So you have to be super conscientious. That guy could have shot at me. And if he did shoot at me and it did some damage, so that did 76 damage to that guy. If he did that to me, that might have put me in a rough situation. So, you know, I got lucky here. So I end up still maintaining a high ground. I ended, I end up getting in his box because he ends up building it where my body is halfway on this ramp. And I'll actually go into this a little bit slowly. So that's where he gets hit. He ends up ramping up. He puts a roof because I think I own that floor. I'm not sure exactly, but I think I own that floor. But he ends up um, a roof, a, a pyramid. He ends up putting a pyramid to make it difficult for me to edit straight down to that. And at this point, he goes to his left. He's going to ramp up. But if you see, my body's down just enough right here. I break the plane of the floor. So he tries putting up a cone to protect himself and a floor but as you can see my body is halfway in between that so the floor will not place because i'm there i'm occupying that space and when it's translucent like that i'm still able to shoot i'm technically in the box which i actually do i go ahead and hit for 79 and i just pulled out my rifle just because i don't feel like dealing with the cooldown even though it is attack and it has a lower cooldown i just take out my rifle and just start spamming he already got hit 76 i hit him 79 you're looking at around 160 damage there's not too much left if he has full health i just need to do a little bit more and so now we see this person who was trying to take the opportunity to third party because he saw us build up so much He's trying to shoot at the wall. Maybe he's going to take some more shots simply because of the fact it's not arena. The battle just ended. I could be low of health. Let's see. I, I don't I'm not sure if he actually ends up taking more. He should have or it maybe been a little bit more aggressive. I don't want to say it matters too much. I still have 120 health, but this allows me the opportunity to take a 50 pot, which is huge. Okay, so he ends up building up as well. So he builds up and you can see he put a pyramid and floor and he ends up editing through that. So he preemptively placed his pyramid and floor under here. You can see that under my floor. And I think he ends up taking that floor next to mine which stops me from putting a floor over there and editing on him. So he places that preemptively, which occupies that space and makes it impossible for me to place mine and edit the floor on him like you saw with the first battle. And he acts, actually takes high ground for a little bit, but he ends up, look, and, and this, is a, this is a great example. A lot of times some people end up making mistakes. You have to understand that you're not gonna be the only one. He ends up making a, a mistake right here. People do it all the time. He ends up making a mistake where he's underneath his ramp instead of on top of it. Had he been above it, he might be able to be in a, in a great position and get a good shot. But assuming that he was above me, I go ahead and put a pyramid just in case with the idea thinking that he was going to peek. I drop some walls, drop some more walls, and he ends up going up. I end up putting a pyramid. Let me see if I can actually show this. So putting some walls to protect myself, 
He ends up building a ramp. He ramps above me. I ramp up as well. And look, I drop the pyramid right above so that this way he can't continue to go up. And because that's mine, I end up turning around. I think he ended up destroying that pyramid. Yeah, yeah he ended up destroying that pyramid. And that just helps me do a little 180 there where I quickly turned around. I placed the wall, turned around, got a ramp. And now this puts me in an opportunity where I'm able to have the high ground just for a split second. I go ahead and take my shot. Immediately, I drop a floor underneath me and a wall in front of me to protect myself. So that's one shot. He puts himself in a box to protect himself. Maybe he's going to take minis. That's the assumption. And if you saw my first analytical video, uh, what I like to do is when they box up like this, you go ahead and drop a ramp. And so that you can jump on that ramp and you can try to take their wall. A lot of times, if they're a better player and you're in this position, you try to take the wall. A couple things might happen. They might just replace it or they might open up on you. But I end up taking the wall. And this is unfortunately a, um, a mistake that he ends up uh, making that is going to cost him here. Uh, he ends up putting a ramp inside his box really he should be below it but instead he's on it and i was successful at taking that wall which is going to open him to a straight shot and that's going to be 30 right there and at this point he's he's discombobulated he's not really sure what to do he turns around doesn't even have his gun out and now he's panicking so this is a super a super easy succession let me just go back I'm, I'm just going to go back on that one more time, just kind of break that down, but I'm going to do it um, half speed here, just so you guys are able to see. So he has the high ground. We see over here, he ends up Harry Pottering himself underneath his ramp, which then he's going to go for a sidestep, but I end up putting that pyramid above to protect myself. He's going for that sidestep. He takes that sidestep. He takes a shot, but because I put a, a wall to my right, he ends up destroying that wall instead, at which then he tries to put himself. He jumps up so he can put a ramp. You can see the, uh, that he puts a ramp there. I put box, I put walls on my left and right side, just protect myself up. I throw a ramp as well. I know he's going to run up that. Boom. I hit a pyramid. Maybe that's a floor. I put something above him. I try to do a quick 180, and then I end up going back up. He sidesteps. He sidesteps out of the way of that uh, floor. Take a shot on him. Floor wall. He puts himself in a box. I contest the box. I drop a ramp so that I can hit the box a little bit easier. I take it. He ends up screwing himself, putting a ramp in his box. One shot. He's a little confused. He tries to edit it. Over. I think that's a little bit more sweatier than what I would like expect you guys to do, especially at a lower level gameplay. Obviously, uh, this guy was a little bit of a builder and definitely contested me and gave me a run for my money. Uh, but he just made two mistakes there that cost him. And with how he was pushing, uh, had he not made those mistakes, I might have been in a worse off situation. So I go ahead and use the bouncer just so I can get off of that build safely and quickly. On the off chance, somebody else might be there and they're trying to knock me down or they're trying to make shots. And I just throw down a bouncer just so I can get down. And now my point is I want to get into the storm. And look at the amount of people that are just contesting right now. And this is why it's super important to be in storm before... You actually have to like run away from the storm where it's like touching your back. You really want to avoid this because there's no telling what it's going to look like at that line when the circle is actually closed and waiting for the next shrink. It can put you in a rough situation. I just came out of battle. I, I, I probably don't have a lot of mats. I don't remember, I, but I'm assuming I don't have a lot of mats especially going into that battle and i'm assuming he didn't have a lot of mats so more than likely i didn't gain much from him so being on the edge of this storm puts me in a pretty rough situation and you want to avoid this if you're able to beat the storm if you can but this particular case i had no choice because he was the successor of a previous battle i there, i could have done nothing uh, to get around him so you're gonna have situations like that where you're just going to have to defend yourself. So, 
there's a couple people here and these are straight wide open planes. If you can inflict damage before you actually push somebody or just cause a little bit of chaos, make yourself known, make yourself a viable threat. I personally like taking that opportunity, especially considering with RNG and Bloom, there's no telling how much damage you can actually do. So we're actually gonna slow this down a little bit there. I ended up hitting him for a little bit there. Bring this down to one, 34, 50. And he ends up trying to protect himself. At this point, he's definitely weak. So let's see if we're able to do anything with that. I can test his box again. I take it. I open it up. And this guy successfully puts the ramp what the other guy was trying to do. As soon as I opened up that wall, he had his ramp down, which protects him. He created the box well, so he has... He has a, um, I, I tapped this one. He has a floor and pyramid that protects himself, at which at that point, I'm going to try to contest the pyramid, but this man does a nice sidestep out into the open there, at which I even tried to get him a little bit, and I think I end up pyramiding him. The nice thing about pyramids, and you should definitely get used to using pyramids is you can reach pretty far with it from where you're standing when you're in edit mode or build mode so he ends up trying to go out at which i put two pyramids here one above me one there he puts a wall right there and then i'm trying to take the wall but i saw that he ended up going out the side so now i'm trying to take high ground a little bit he gets one shot he actually gets two shot which brings me down a little bit i drop a pyramid above him again i try to scissor up retake high ground and in this particular case i'm successful and he actually is going to try to avoid me and he drops down he doesn't want to contest fight maybe he has hats maybe he has health whatever it may be it forces him down and he doesn't continue to maintain high ground if he did i could have potentially been in a rougher spot doesn't so because he's on ground you can actually hear his feet it just hit the ground he's trying to box up again maybe he's trying to heal at this case i'm gonna try to take his wall one more time he opens up on me and that's what i meant the last time in the last battle sometimes when you contest a person's wall but because this is a half ground it's not super necessary that i throw a ramp because if I jump that's going to put me above where i can attach a root but sometimes or a floor but sometimes when you toss a ramp down on a regular plane where you don't have this half wall peeking out of the floor where you don't have this i keep i keep where you don't have this half wall notice how this is just half of it right here and because of that i don't need to put a ramp and i can just contest his wall but sometimes when you go to contest somebody's wall, they'll open up on you because they expect you to contest it, especially if you have a louder pickaxe, especially like the site. As soon as I took it out, the first thing he did, he opened top left. He already took a shot, at which point he throws a pyramid above and immediately I drop that wall because it's possible he could open up, take another shot. I drop a wall, drop a pyramid. I go up a floor. He ends up being right beneath me. And at this point, if he was quick, he would have been able to box me. But that was my ramp. If he did box me, he could take that ramp, place a ramp, do a mongrel classic on me or whatever he wants to do. He would have been in another, he would have been in a better position. He could have even taken this wall right here. So with him being under this ramp, all you would have to do is look left, look right. That was my wall. He could put a floor and pyramid. If he looks straight up, he would have been in a great position to box me. But unfortunately, he doesn't do that for him. And in this case, he actually turns back around. He actually turns back around away from this and ends up trying to go down throws a pyramid to protect himself this was actually my floor i opened up that corner but he quickly reacts and throws a pyramid above my floor i end up having that wall i opened it up because i saw that he ran in that direction so because both floors were mine i opened it up to take another shot you can hear that i took another shot you can see that i took another shot i end up dropping down and actually trying to press on his side but what he ends up doing is now 
putting walls on both sides at this point i pretty much have to shoot him like i have to another maybe another thing i could have done was throw a pyramid down but in this particular situation with how determined he was leaving especially because i already did damage to him and there was a lot of battling going on the assumption is he's probably weak he's trying to situate himself he put himself in a box twice probably to heal up and that's why you get so aggressive when people are trying to disengage from the battle you're trying to aggress if he was in a good situation and when i pushed him more than likely he would have been as aggressive if not more aggressive definitely not a bad player but because he dropped all the way down or put him in a uh, put himself in a box two times i have to assume that he's weak or in a rough situation However, just being in this box, he could still very well one-shot me. Absolutely possible. But he was definitely more on he was definitely more on the defensive side, for sure. But definitely, definitely a decent player. But that's why it's so important before you aggress somebody to do as much damage as you can. It's huge. Just take shots, inflict some damage, because if you're going to end up uh contesting them and going in a build battle with them, you might as well have the upper hand. What's rough is when you take those shots and you miss it. And you do no damage. At least you try. So in this case, nobody else around. There's one guy over here. Speed this up a little bit. I end up knocking that down just to see if there's somebody else over there. I also don't want that too high. I try to take all the loot that I can. I try to make sure that I stay on top of my minis. Making sure that I have good health. Making sure that I have good armor. Checking my mats. And as I'm doing that, I'm also checking any mats coming in if i need it i'm not sure whether or not i do okay more than likely i'm uh more than likely i do need mats because you see me matting up rocks are very great especially in these wide open plains they're, they're just chock full of mats we're actually going to speed this up a little bit more and they can be saving graces for sure they can absolutely be saving graces okay so there is some engagement going on here but no actual kills so let's see this this is another example where someone's away and i'm gonna just take shots i have the ammo the storm is against my back but and i've said this in my previous video i've noticed i'm just out here i'm just taking shots at him and i'm just making a whole bunch of ruckus he might be contesting bodies someone near me who knows but when you do this you cannot do it for an elongated amount of time because it opens you up to other players especially if anybody's coming from the storm so in this particular situation we see somebody top uh bottom right and he's in right at me he's gonna take a shot luckily enough it misses me or doesn't do as much damage let's see so i'm pretty i'm pretty set on really just trying to do damage at this guy but here we go somebody shoots me from the side and they do 60 damage he's coming in from the storm he's up he took a shock wave a lot of times when people sh uh, shockwave, I get a little bit nervous and I try to box up so that this way, if they do come above, they're not getting an easy headshot because when they're aiming right down at you, all they see is your head. So he ends up ramping up. I think that he might be here. Is he going to go up? Yeah, he's up one. I end up trying to ramp up the side. He's actually up two here. I try to put a pyramid here just to stop him and he ends up being three floors above me i drop a floor just to protect myself from some shots I come up here i end up using the pyramid to help me get to the next floor so that this way i can get up there pretty quickly this was a little frantic as you could see but he ends up using the pier uh he ends up using the shock wave again so that he can maintain high ground he's being pretty aggressive but i end up just trying to keep contesting for high ground because in a situation like this you almost have to you could drop down and put yourself into a box but when a person is this aggressive they are determined you have to be as aggressive you have to match their aggression or you just turtle down in the box and hold the fort 
and I don't really like to play like that too much because sometimes I just feel like I get the short end of the stick. Maybe they have higher ping. They take my wall. It just puts me in a bad position. I don't get too lucky in a box defending it. However, in a previous video, I mentioned that if you get very good at defending a box, it's a game changer. It really is a game changer. So I think I ended up getting high ground. And I think the reason why I end up getting high ground is because he ends up scuffing himself with his shockwave. Oh, he has another one. Look at that. At this point, he has another one. I don't know where he is. I try to take a mini. I'll, I'll put myself in a box immediately. So now this is what I mean by just protecting your box. Just trying to open yourself up. Somebody else has a sniper and they're they're shooting. Um, it's a clinger sniper. It's a boom sniper. And you can hear it. It hit. And it now we're being third partied. I don't know if it was this person or maybe it was him. I'm not exactly sure. But my point here is just trying to get in a position where I separate enough space from him so I can rearm her. And I think he's actually trying to knock me down. Okay, he's actually just trying to get out of the way. Yeah, he's just trying to get out of there at this point. I, I don't know if it was because somebody else was third partying, but he was definitely in a decent position there. I was just able to protect myself enough, even though it was a little bit unorganized and fran uh, frantic. It was enough to be able to keep myself alive. Uh, as he shocked, as he used the bounce pad to go away, I was able to inflict some damage, and this pushes it in. My favor this this absolutely pushes in my favor and because of this i aggress so i'm trying to take his pyramid now i'm just trying to get super aggro because i want to get into that box but he's moving out of the way he's trying to he's trying to get some distance and this person over here you can see yellow is also making a little bit diff difficult so i can't get too focused on him at this point i go ahead and drop my ramp, my wall, I'm above, and I'm looking for that person. Even though there's a person above me, I'm tracking well enough to know that I'm above him and he's also weak. But when he builds like that, I'm thinking, is he going to try to contest for height? And instead, what he ends up doing is he gets up just enough to drop a bounce. He ends up dropping a bounce pad right there just so he can get out. At which point, I'm trying to land a couple of shots, but I was unsuccessful. And he separates himself far enough to where he is no longer in immediate danger by me but he ends up putting himself right next to the other player who was attempting to get a couple shots off at us trying to third party us so now i'm trying to push them and the reason why i'm trying to push them is because the person over here it didn't seem like they were that comfortable uh with aggressing they were very adamant on keeping their ground and i have to move in anyway that that's a big part of it so i'm okay with aggressing i know one is weak and he's trying to separate himself so he can heal up and now that there's another guy there it's possible they might duke it out so i'm just trying to get up here but a lot of times when i'm in this situation i'm not willing to go inside i usually stay above And I'm just trying to see what I can from above. Seeing if I can maybe catch one of them slacking. Now, this is a good defense myself. Being this high up, there's a lot of commotion. Walls are next to me. I don't think I have a wall behind me, which I should have. But I at least protected myself on that part. And in this situation, the, the roof of the building is in front of me. And if you look at the top, if you were looking on the side of it, you wouldn't be able to see me. So there's a little bit of comfort here. This guy ends up coming up. I'm able to do some damage on him, which is nice. Gives me a little bit more of an advantage. However, I'm still not willing to go down. Just entirely for the fact that when you get yourself in some of those, when you get yourself inside the house, it gives you, it puts you in a rough position. And, and I didn't even enter the house. I did drop down in front of the garage and it, again, it puts me in a rough position now. Now it's actually harder for me. So that guy ends up dying by the storm. The guy who uh, came out of the garage. And there is a person in front of me. 
so he's just spraying and I'm just waiting for him to need to reload so that this way I can take whatever minis I'm able to. I'm holding that wall so I can take my next mini. I'm waiting until somebody else hits him or anything. Okay, so in this particular situation, I think I think that guy aggressed me. Let me let me see exactly what happened. So I'm I'm just holding that wall. I'm just holding that wall to make sure that I can heal up. Okay, yeah, he pushes towards me. Yeah, yeah, this guy, yellow, over here, bottom right, dies by storm. And this guy, over here, this is the guy who's spamming me, and I'm just trying to heal up. But he ends up spamming, 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 spamming. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take my minis. He turns around, throws a bounce pad, so that this way he can move towards me, and aggress towards me. He's trying to find me. I open up the wall right on him, and this is why it's super important to be able to have the walls around you and protect yourself and be able to protect yourself in a box. So I was able to open up right on him 114 right off the bat, which gave me a great opportunity. I think that's his wall. Yeah, that's his wall on the left, so I go straight down. He's not going to contest me because he's weak, but I end up dropping down to the ground because in this particular situation... This particular situation, I didn't want to put myself in, in too much trouble because I think I'm pretty low on mats. So he's above me. I, I think I'm trying to shoot him down. I have the ammo, but I'm just trying to get myself in a situation where I need a kill. I need his mats. And so I find his box and I'm going to keep blasting that. There he goes. He ends up dropping down the floor. I try to take him down even more, but somebody else is shooting on the side, so I turn around very quickly to protect myself. He ends up dropping a bounce pad, and he's able to get out of there. But somebody else kills him. And I... Oh, wait, no. Does somebody else kill him? What exactly happens here? He dies from fall damage. I don't know how. I don't, I don't know what happens, but he ends up dying from fall damage and not getting up the kill for it. I probably shouldn't have. Maybe somebody else was getting shot, so maybe the replay scuff. However, lots of mats right there, I think, but I need mats. So, I'm trying to get whatever I can. And in this situation, perfect opportunity to get, to get mats here. And I actually think he ends up having a lot. I remember him having a lot, and I think it was all metal. I think he was max metal. So I end up trying to go over here because they're already in it and I want a third party. However, I remember one of these guys being really good. I don't remember which one. So in this situation, this guy, this is, a, this guy's focused on him. That guy's focused on that guy right there. So I'm contesting that I'm the third party now. I have the high ground. I go ahead, he takes a shot on that, but I go ahead and drop a wall to, uh, to protect myself. He jumps up and tries to get a shot. He's trying to get an angle. I open up to the right just to take a shot on him. I back up behind my building, takes another shot, mids it. I expose myself. I shoot him again for 67. He's now white, and I'm able to get the, uh, the kill off. So let me, just, let me just do that a little bit slower so you guys can see what's going on. So that guy ended up dying. I got his mats. I'm matting even when I go in. You want to be super conscientious of your mats, especially on these... These tight, these tight battles here at the end, you want to make sure you have mats, but luckily that guy ended up having a lot, which puts me in a good situation. This guy knows I'm here. He takes a shot. I drop the wall. Takes another shot. He shot the wall. I'm using my right peek on him, which is great. I have the high ground, which is beautiful. It's not a bad situation. I think he even runs out of mats. So then the person from below ends up trying to get height. I'm not exactly sure what happens, but I end up opening for a better opportunity on him and this guy i think is actually turns out to be pretty decent i end up trying to get whatever shots i can and if you're going to contest somebody in your building sometimes you just have to i don't want to say take blind shots but assume i don't want to say assume that they're not going to protect themselves but try to get off that shot as quickly as possible on the off chance that they don't get it down. Kind of like how that first guy was shooting at me. I was just successful and I think he was low of mats. So this guy is pretty high. He's got height on me. And he ends up putting himself out there. This puts me in a weird spot. Because I'm really high up. Really high up. And I'm out of the circle. 
I wouldn't really recommend contesting somebody this high when there's still other players around. Because, I mean, luckily it was in metal. And I think that was a saving grace for me. And I think that was something that I just kept in mind. It's in metal, fine. And I've done plenty of uh, practice editing down. But it's always different when you're in game. It's always different when you're in game. So I'm just going ahead and I'm editing down here. I'm just trying to get out of it as quick as possible. Just so that I don't find myself being beamed by him going down. And some of this isn't even mine. So in this particular situation, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do, which is trying to take shots at me while I'm going down because I'm super vulnerable. I actually think this is the last player. So I take some fall damage over here, 160. However, turns out this is the last player. I think he ran out of mats. So because he's not aggressing me and up at the top of the screen here, I'm able to keep an eye on whether he is going to aggress me and I have the mats for it. I'm just going to go ahead and take the med kit because I have it. You don't always have this luxury and if there's a lot of people and if they do aggress, you want to bail, especially when you have a good amount of health like this. But in this particular situation, I have line of sight on him and I might as well put myself in the best possible position before I aggress him. So I go ahead and I'm, I'm, I get a little cheeky. I even tried to stack up on some mats here. However, I think I'm not that bad on that. And because he's not aggressing me, you know what? Reload everything. Make sure you're in a good position. Make sure you're in the best position possible before you aggress him. And like I said, I don't think he ends up having mats. So as I'm aggressing him, we're building in metal. I'm protecting myself. Just being super secure. I don't even need to be this secure, but I, I lost track of where he was, and I think he's being cheeky. I don't know exactly where he might be. I th I think even the, for a second, I thought he was behind the, the truck, but I'm taking it super slowly, especially considering the fact I'm in the circle. I'm in the circle, and if he doesn't have mats, I'm going to see him coming in. And just like that, we end up seeing him coming in. Drop down a couple ramps just to protect myself. Edit it towards me, and he's spraying, breaking the ramps, but it buffs some of the shots. Guys, I really hope that helped you out. I hope you were able to take some tips or tricks from that, and it helps you improve even in the slightest if there is anything you're able to take away from that. Maybe watch it once or twice, depending on if areas are a little bit more complicated for you. I know on the more aggressive contesting, it gets a little bit disorienting, especially if you're not a builder. But I urge you just to take it slow. I try to break it down as much as I could. If you like it, make sure you hit that like, that sub. If you have any comments or criticism or critiques, or if there's any part that you really enjoyed, drop that in the comments below. And until next time.